Hello guys and welcome back to the Mighty Alien One One TV. I've now been away, but uh, now I'm back, starting doing YouTube again, kind of. Uh, hopefully, anyway, as long as my fraps doesn't mess up again, or my games don't mess up again. Um, and we're going to be doing a new thing that I'm going to be calling Garage Reviews. Now, Garage Review is going to just going to be World of Tanks, uh, just going to be the, me explaining the stats and how this thing plays, but there's not going to be any gameplay, purely because my computer's too bad to be able to record gameplay. So, I'll be telling you about the stats, how I play these things, how I think you should play these things, maybe. Uh, <laughs> I'm pretty bad at World of Tanks, that, but... I have a few tips, uh, and I tell you the stats, and if you're thinking of getting them, maybe you want to know a bit more, so um, jump right into it. Today we're going to be uh, doing the 88, it's a British T6 tank destroyer, so it's British tank destroyer T6, and I, I got this quite recently, it's one of my more recent tanks after grinding the 82. And I do. I the first time I got it, I absolutely hated it because you had to use the same gun on the eighty-two, which is a hundred and ten penetration and seventy-five damage. Now that was painful to use because this could see tier eights over two hundred millimeters of armor on tier eights. You would you wouldn't have a chance of penning any of those. So, that really was a push, but if we look at the research, th once you get past that, you get to the 75mm AT gun mark 5. Now this, some people argue, is a downgrade. Now, I kind of agree with them, and kind of don't. If you get into tier 6 games, like top tier, then it is good, it's a lot better than this gun. Purely because it's got higher damage, 110 damage and 75 average damage. But, if you get into a tier 7 game or a tier 8 game, and, like, say if you're lucky a tank has turned its side or, or back to you, then you want to have a chance to be able to penetrate its back or side. And with this gun, probably not a chance at all. This gun, yeah, slightly increased chance, but not definitely. So, stock grind, just be in mind, it's pretty painful. Till you get to this gun, tier 7 gun, the uh, OQF 77mm AT gun mark 2. Then that is, I can't remember how much, I think 14, I think it was 14,500 14, XP to grind that gun. And I literally just unlocked it about 20 minutes ago. <laughs> and I played one game with it. And I really like it. It's got better penetration, 148 penetration, uh, and better to damage, 140. Slightly lower rate of fire, 15.79 compared to 26.09 for both of those guns. That's that's about a four and a half second reload with uh, like 78 percent crew on the gunners, and um, so. Yeah, I really like this gun. I haven't obviously tried that gun, but it's... I don't think I'm going to get it if I'm going to go... If I'm, I don't really know whether I'm going to go for the 87, because I'm just about to unlock the IS-3. I'm not going to have enough money for that. So, I'm wondering whether to sell the 88 and then come back to it later, once I've got a few higher tier tanks. So, I'm probably not going to get that gun, because it's only a bit more... It's only a bit better, like, if I compare the stats here. So, you see, it's... Slower rate of fire, better penetration, and slightly better damage, just 10 HP better damage. Uh, other than that, almost exactly the same, just a bit heavier. This this does go on the 87 and the 8015 though, so just to, just to show you that if you're thinking that you don't want to grind this gun on the 87, it's there I think, then unlock on the 88, because then you won't get into tier 9 games with this gun pff, really be horrible. <laughs> Can't believe that's actually an auto loader. That sucks. But um, so yeah, and also on the AT15, uh, it's is it even the stock? It's the stock gun, so it, you don't really need to get it for the AT15. But 
yeah, now the top, the radios won't really be a problem for me. I already unlocked this on the AT2, same same tier eight radio on the AT2. Engine, yes, you really want the engine. You with the top engine, you only go about twenty kilometers per hour, but think about it with the stock engine you'll be going a lot slower. Now, this is the same on the AT2 as well. Apart from the top engine is just a bit more... I can't remember how much XP this required. It doesn't tell me now, because I've unlocked it. But I don't think it was that much. So, and that's used... Oh, I unlocked it on the Crusader, so... Yeah. Um, tracks, I haven't even bothered getting the second tracks. You don't need it for the gun... For this gun, anyway. Probably for that gun. I'll check the weights. Probably, yeah, I think you will need it for that gun. I don't know, but... Don't take my word for it. But that just increases the traverse speed by 2 degrees per second, so... And the, obviously, the load limit. So, um... Yeah, if you're looking for 88, these are the basic stats of the equipment. Now, I didn't get 100% crew on this. And that was purely because I didn't have any gold at the time. But now I'm about halfway through. Uh, I didn't want to spend my gold trying to get 100%. So I'm just going to grind them, grind those up myself. For ammunition, I went mostly AP. Because the penetration is enough. But just load a few HE just in case. You never know what you're going to come up against. And uh, just the usual repair kit. Uh, fire extinguisher and health pack first aid kit and um yeah i i haven't got any camera on this because i'm going to play this all up front obviously because the armor and um so i haven't got any camo i haven't got any equipment yet i'm just a bit uh short of money but um now let's go on to the physical side of things frontal armor pretty sure it's about 203 millimeters here there and there i think this is a bit less, but it's curved, so that's good. Uh, weak spots on the front. Anything up here, the commander's hatch, inverted commas, it's just a, it's like a mini R2-D2 sticking out the top. But, um, and also these machine gun ports, these are weak spots. And also this auto cannon port, I think that's what it's called anyway, this wall is a weak spot as well. That's got a lot less um, armour compared to the hull. <coughs> Sorry. Uh, and beware, just like the 82, if you played the 82, um, you will be tracked a lot in this. First time you're tracked and nothing else is exposed, do not use your repair kit. You will regret it later, because I guarantee you, you'll be tracked more than once in a game with things that can't pen your front plate. Like th this, these areas. And, um, and obviously, if... Someone's never seen an 88 before or doesn't know where to pen an 88. They will be shooting here most of the time, so don't be too scared of that. But if um, if something instantly shoots at this, you know that they know where to shoot you, obviously. So just be careful with those guys. Also, I, my gun hasn't been destroyed yet. Uh, it's been damaged a few times, but not totally taken out. Uh, and I think that's purely because shots have bounced off the plate up into the gun. And um, But yeah, that's only happened a few times. And the side armor, all right, 101 armor on that. And also, it's a bit trollish because I had a K1S shoot me at this curved corner, and it bounced straight off when I was a one-shot kill, and it meant that my teammates could then get to me and just kill the K1S before his reload, which was very handy. I think that's a weak spot if you can call it that as well, purely because it's on the side, and I think that's. Uh, don't count me on this, but it looks like the place that, uh, like an extra um, site uh, so that the commander could look out of. And um, rear armor, 101 again, same as the sides. Pretty good, actually, but I don't think this is very good, this plate, f uh, the top armor. I think it could be the same, or it's not that good, but if something shoots you there, they will penetrate, unless it's at a really awkward angle. Uh, this part of the side is really trollish, really trollish, because that's obviously curved. That will bounce quite a few shots, but be careful that if they bounce uh, into this part. If it's high penetration and it bounces, it may penetrate there, or, well, m not really, but 
say it say if it did get to the opportunity it would penetrate there as well so that's the armor on the 88 um if i was going to get uh equipment for this i'd probably go vents uh heavy spool liner for art of artillery and probably uh medium caliber t tank gun rammer maybe or um toolbox i suppose for tracks but i really wouldn't if i were you cuz if you're just thinking of grinding this then to get uh, to the 8015 or the 87 then I wouldn't bother with any of that. And now the torrential lag comes along. So it appears it's the end of my video. Um, I've, I'm not sure about perk skills because uh, perk skills. I'm not sure about crew perks because I haven't got to that point yet. But I'd probably go repairs on my second perk purely because of the tracks. And um, yeah, thanks for watching, guys. If you want more of these, uh, if you want me to pick certain tanks for you that I have, I'll just show you the tech tree of the tanks that I've unlocked. I have, that's the British, this is the German, it's the French, yeah I hate the French, really really difficult to grind the first couple of tanks for me, don't know if it's just me or not, <laughs> but I just find it really difficult, Chinese I wouldn't bother, I gave up at the Chiha, uh, American, I got far as Jackson, um, Russian, I've got up to the KV-4, but I sold it because I sucked at it. Uh, and yeah, that's Russian and Japan tier 3. So, uh, thanks for watching, guys. If you want to pick another tank, then um, just ask in the comments. Uh, like and subscribe if, if you like this video, if you want more. And I'll see you next time. See you guys.